Cancun is the number one party city throughout the entire Caribbean and Royalton Chic is widely regarded as one of the best, if not the best, party hotel in Cancun. I had an amazing time at Royalton Chic Punta Cana and this location looks even better. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Royalton Chic, Cancun. Let's do this, Royalton Chic Cancun. This is gonna be an interesting stay, I just have that feeling. When I got here, the lobby was buzzing. It was electric, there was so much energy. My room wasn't ready yet, so I chilled at the lobby bar and had a delicious secret off-menu drink called the Fish Bowl. I finally made it up to my room and the views from my balcony are spectacular. My life will never be the same. The color of the ocean is this magical teal. And even more than that, I have survey over the entire property. If you want all the details of this oceanfront junior suite, check the description below. I did a dedicated room tour. So let's get this trip started in a big way. Right now I'm off to dinner and I'm going to the exclusive Sky Restaurant. And then after that, I'm headed to the Friday night party, but it's just not any party. It's a rooftop neon swim party. Wow, 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 where am I? I cannot be at an all-inclusive. I must be in Miami or something because that dinner was incredible. One of the best all-inclusive dinners I've had, top five, maybe even top one or two, when I take into account everything, from its location up there on a rooftop, its lighting, its style, its ambiance, the service was five-star, the menu was awesome, the food quality was excellent, everything came together in a tremendous manner. What a fantastic way to start my first night here. I'm gonna change, chill out for a little bit, and head back up there for the nighttime neon party. Good morning. Take a look at the view I woke up with today. The sand and water in front of Royalton Chic is really special. I'm having so much fun. Last night was a blast. Uh, that rooftop place was so cool. There were cabanas, this bottle service, hookah. The DJ was fantastic. You could get in the water and go swimming if you wanted. The drinks were flowing. The crowd was really fun. Uh, I would have thought I was at a high-end ultra lounge in San Diego or Miami. This does not feel like an all-inclusive hotel, and I mean that in the best way possible. So today is going to be another big day. Right now, I'm headed down to the main pool. I'm going to chill down there, get some sun, see what that is like, and then after that, I'm headed to the foam party. So this is the main pool at Royalton Chic. It doesn't look like much in my room. From upstairs, it looks like just a rectangular pool with the word Royalton written on the bottom of it. But when I got down here, it's actually a pretty cool setup. It's infinity edge, steps away from the beach, a swim up bar with great drinks. There's an ancillary sunbathing pool. Uh, there's a buffet out here. The crowd is pretty electric. It's a really good time. So I'm gonna finish up here, and I'm going upstairs to the foam park.
So the phone party is basically a continuation of the neon party from last night, except it's during the day. So people are in the pool and they're poolside. They're drinking, they're dancing, they're partying. There was a DJ out there playing awesome music. It had a toga theme with really fun dancers and decor. It was exclusive yet inviting, intimate and energetic all at the same time. Uh, it's night number two. It's hard to believe it's only night number two. I'm off to dinner right now to Hunter Steakhouse. It's the most popular restaurant on site. And then after that, I'm headed to Martini Bar for the party tonight. I have been to four Hunter Steakhouses this year, and the Hunter Steakhouse at Royal Tachique Cancun is by far the best. I love the ambiance in there with the floor to ceiling windows that overlook the ocean. It was a little edgy with the antler and cutlery chandeliers, and the food was pretty good. The tenderloin was borderline restaurant quality. Well, if that restaurant is an Outback Steakhouse. All right, the night continues. I'm down to Martini Bar. So I go to the after party last night at 9 p.m. and that was such a huge mistake because I get there and it's karaoke, which I hate. I immediately took off like Usain Bolt and went to go check out the entertainment show for the night. It was like a dancing ensemble show, different dancers from around the world. It was average, but you know, whatever. You're not coming to Royalty Chic for the entertainment show. After that, I went to the lobby. I wanted to see what the energy was like. There are people there pre-dinner, post-dinner. There's a cocktail list. It's a decent place to spend some time. After that, I was curious. I had to go check out the after party again, and I get there and it is an after party. It starts late, it starts at 10.30. Uh, there's a DJ, there's a bar up there, people are dancing, there's hookah. It was definitely a true after party, a little calmer and a little bit more relaxed than what I've seen up until this point. This morning, I woke up, I had breakfast at the Diamond Club Lounge. That is the exclusive lounge for Diamond Club guests. It is the nicest Diamond Club I've seen up until this point. Now, it's small, borderline claustrophobic. I almost had to be sedated, but it was the most delicious food I've tasted out of any all-inclusive lounge. I decided to eat breakfast in the lobby. The lobby is spectacular. It's like a chic, modern palace, front row view of the pools, the beach, and the ocean. That leads me to right now, it's day number three. I'm gonna get it started at the beach. All right, I just finished up at the beach. I'll tell you about it later. I'm headed upstairs. Apparently, there's another rooftop party. Okay, bear with me. Uh, I'm so incoherent right now. In fact, don't even look at me. I'm hideous. This trip is getting out of hand. Um, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's what the saying goes, and that could not be more true about yesterday. So I plan on going down to the beach and having a relaxing day, which I did. Uh, you know, I've been to a lot of these Cancun hotels on and off the channel, and this stretch of sand and water in front of the Royal Tin Sheik is some of the nicest I've seen in this entire area. The water is that perfect neon teal color. It's crystal clear in some areas. The sand is white and fluffy and soft. I just hung out and chilled at the Diamond Club section of the beach for Diamond Club guests, but I did take a look at the regular section and they looked to be nearly identical. I was just hanging out, minding my own business, and then I found out there was another rooftop party. And if you know me, you know I had to go check that out. And the interesting thing is, is that it went off even harder than the day before. It went off harder than the Saturday phone party. Bigger crowd, a lot more excitement, better DJ, more fun more chaos. I finished up there at 5 p.m. I really did not want to go to dinner. I was exhausted, but I wanted to go check out another restaurant, so I went to the Italian place, Grazzi. It doesn't look like much. In fact, it's really depressing on the inside. It's one small rectangle, but looks can be deceiving. The food was delicious. I had some lasagna that was incredible, and I had a pizza that was so spicy, it turned my entire face bright red. 
I had to hit the abort button. I had to pull the rip cord last night after dinner because I knew I had to salvage today. Uh, right now I'm off to the Diamond Club pool. I'm hoping it's gonna be a relaxing time, but who knows? It seems like there's fun lurking around every corner here at Royalton Cheek. The Diamond Club pool today was a lot of fun. It is just like the main pool, it's just miniaturized. Uh, it's got an infinity edge. The views of the ocean are spectacular. It steps away from the beach. There is a double-sided bar. There is a buffet. There's a coconut station. There was a DJ out there. There was a saxophone guy that was really cool. Um, it was just a fantastic experience. I quite enjoy the pool setup here at Royalton Chic. I got back up to my room and I found this on my bed. I love when housekeeping does little stuff like this. It isn't the biggest thing in the world, but little things like this really add to the guest experience. Tonight, I'm gonna do something that I rarely do and that is skip dinner. I had so much to eat at the pool today. There is one more big thing I wanna do tonight and that is check out the fire show downstairs. So here are four critical things about Royalton Chic. Firstly, this is an adults only hotel. You probably know that already, but overwhelmingly the age group was 25 to 55. Number two, Diamond Club. I'm usually back and forth if Diamond Club is worth it. This one is a no brainer. You need to get Diamond Club if you come to Royalton Chic. Getting Diamond Club unlocks so many more things in this property and arguably there's some of the best and most important things. Thirdly, you wanna to try to stay at Royalton Chic over a weekend. Uh, that's when you're gonna find the best crowd, the biggest crowd, the most vibrant and sexy crowd. And that's also when Royalton Chic pulls off their biggest events, such as their phone parties. And lastly, I haven't mentioned it much, but this location is pretty much perfect. It is right next door to the number one luxury hotel in all of Cancun, LeBlanc. That should give you some context about how upscale and nice this area is safe, clean, green, walkable. And if you wanna take your partying to the next level, you are steps away from the number one day club in all of Cancun, Mandala Beach. Okay, three negatives and three positives. Let's get the negatives out of the way. First of all, this place gets a little quiet at night, especially for a party hotel. A second thing I didn't like about Royalton Chic is the multiple upsells. You know, you're always gonna find like a preferred club option or a diamond club option when you go to these hotels but they had multiple tiers of Diamond Club. I found it to be really confusing, and I like it with my all-inclusives or all-inclusives. And lastly, I have to mention this. This is indeed a party hotel, but it's a luxury party hotel. And if you're looking for some of the sheer craziness and chaos that you've seen in my other hotel videos, such as Ryu's, you're not gonna find it here. So those are the negatives. Let's talk about the positives. First of all, the food. I cannot believe how good the food is here. It is delicious, it's delectable, it's amazing. It's some of the best food I've had at any all-inclusive. The second big standout is the layout. This isn't an overwhelming, sprawling campus like you find at a lot of all-inclusives. It offers just as much as some of the biggest and best all-inclusives, but it's in a very small footprint. All the rooms and restaurants are in one building. It's easy to get from one to another. And then third and finally, the crowd. It's such an unbelievably awesome crowd. People are warm and welcoming and friendly, enthusiastic, excited. This place is perfect for making friends, socializing, or just being around like-minded people who share the same vacation goals and attitudes that you do. My stay here at Royalton Chic was one of the most complete and consistent hotel experiences I've ever encountered. With all that being said, everything taken into account, I'm gonna rate this property a five. It is excellent, and it's the perfect blend of luxury and party.